First and foremost, thank you so much for coming, grand people. Uh, Southview is a special place. This is my 21st year here, and every year they've done Grand Persons Day, and I think it's one of the most amazing, cool, special things that happens, and it's so cool for you to be a part of our amazing community because you are an amazing community. Um, I'm going to talk about something that's very easy to talk about my grandma. Lucille, and she was just amazing. Now, um, I had the benefit of living on a small farm, and we only lived about a mile and a half apart. And for those of you from farming backgrounds, you know the family you just do so many things together. And my grandma, uh, she has her regular day, she worked harder than any day I do on a regular basis just being a farm wife, and she never complained about it. In hindsight, I look back at how much she loved to learn, and she made learning fun. Um, she was so resourceful, and you know, we, we lived a quite a ways away from town, and if people stopped by, you know, she was planning on maybe four people for dinner, and then a family would come by, and she could automatically do the math, do the materials, do everything, to make a meal for 10 people. And she just, and didn't have a microwave and all of these things that we live by, and she just was amazing that way. When I was this age, I was, sorry, sorry all y'all, I had the coolest grandma, you're all second, but just hang in there. My grandma was amazing. I would go and play, play football, and grandma could, she could chuck the football and she could learn how to throw a spiral and sadly she could throw a better spiral than I could in sixth grade. Um, we would play catch with uh, baseball and grandma had hands of steel. Um, she never used a glove. She just pop and catch it and she would just chuck it right back and she would play, she would find time to play catch with me and then go do her farming things. Um, she was, she got accepted to go to a teaching school, Mankato Teaching School, and she wasn't able to go because her family business, her dad, look at, um, became ill, so she had to manage the business. But teaching was always in her blood, and she was very proud that I got to go into the field. And she would read, she would listen, she, she was just a, an ongoing learner, and she made learning fun and she modeled it by never complaining and also she was resourceful and I kind of have to chuckle um, when I would go see her and she lived down in Blue Earth. Um, Jeopardy was on at 4 o'clock and the local cable channel, uh, channel 12, KDYC, they had Jeopardy at 4 o'clock and we would watch it and we'd have our competition and keep score and she always beat me but um, then and a little bit later, it was on 4.30 on channel 11. And the same exact show that was on at 4. Well, we're sitting here and it's like, oh, let's change the channel. She's like, oh, no, let's just, let's just leave it. And Stella, a neighbor, would come in and she's like, oh, Lucille, Jeopardy's on, let's play. And I'm sitting there watching and and Grandma was ruthless. She got every answer right. And I was like, are you going to tell her? She was, <laughs> so uh, she was very resourceful um, and competitive. So you didn't want to take her on. But just such a cool thing. Now fast forward to my first year at Southview. And students, this is a special day like where I started. I was up on the third floor. And I was like, here, a small town here from Elmore. I'm teaching the Dinah. Oh my gosh, how did this happen? And it was just a whirlwind that first year. And it was Grandparents Day, which they called it back then, which I just thought, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I come down and watch. I said, this is how Dinah does things. So the festivities changed and we're done. And I went back to teaching science. And all of a sudden, Principals outside the door, and my dad and my mom, my grandma were there. And they were just up in the cities, and they decided to visit me. And they came in, so grandma sat in the back of the room, and she was just beaming because her little dean was in front of teaching. And all of a sudden, a student goes, Mr. Dahl, 
your grandma came to my grandparents' day. And I will never, ever forget that. This day is special. So, kids, be sure to say thank you when it's convenient for that special person coming for you. And second, you're going to remember this both sides. And now I'm a grandparent, and I'm sure hoping that my kids have a grandparents' day at their school someday so I can do the same. And let's see, last thing to finish off before I hand it off to Mr. Freeze, three important words or phrases. Go Gophers, grow the boat, sky and mountain.